Hello my soccer universe and welcome to part 6 of this year's Champions League jersey review and this is a very unusual group in the sense that I have only looked at actually two but only one uh, set of jerseys, a few jerseys uh, that we have here will actually be featured in this video. Uh, so a lot of new ground to cover. Uh, it's also an unusual group and there is no team that has a first color in where one of the first colors is red so it's a very uh visually not that i am against red but you know blue it's always blue against some other color is usually very pleasing and also conveniently um i can fit 13 jerseys on the wall at this moment of the recording i have jerseys of 14 of the 16 teams in the round of 16 soon 15. um and the one that is has the least chance of winning is Lazio, so I didn't need to change the wall either. So yeah, wearing Lazio and yeah, as I said, very interesting group and I would say I should not talk much more about it. Uh, let's get right into it um, with, we'll start actually out with the seeded team that finished last. I again, we'll go in the reverse order of how the teams finished and I have to say we start out with a bang. Zenit jerseys. If I wouldn't cover in my videos the Russian League a lot and if Zenit wouldn't have such a bad reputation with the fans, which Lazio also does too, I mean those two fit very well together in this group. I think they even greeted themselves as, as very right-wing fans uh, on both sides, although Lazio I know tries to get rid of these. Yeah, that's a topic for another video. But as I say, despite that, Zenit comes out every year with very interesting jerseys. And I have given them high grades so far and I have to say this might actually be my favorite of the ones that I've uh, seen so far. I really like the blue gradients in there. Maybe the only thing that I might change is that instead of uh, having twice the pattern going from dark blue to light blue, make it just in one swoosh or have a little bit more gradient in there. Maybe let it go from blue then to dark on the bottom. But other than that, this is a beautiful jersey. When, when I saw this in play, uh, I, I couldn't take my eyes off it. I said, oh, this is really a nice one. I want to have this one. I really want to have this one. Let's see, maybe at some point I, I will get it. Um, it is among my favorites. Uh, and I regret actually now that I didn't put it in my top 10 in there. This is a beautiful jersey. Uh, I cannot fault it. I like the color. I like the color. I cannot fault it for any anything. I guess that means I need to give it a high grade. 10 stars. Yes, I'm that crazy. Uh, the away jersey is though rather uninspired. This is the Nike template. Gray with white. It looks like a, Ch a Schalke away jersey. This one does not excite me. I mean, the, it's all right, but it doesn't excite me. So there you go only with five stars. And so all the Zenith overall look is already pulled down again. Club Bruges, uh, now I can see them again a little bit, um, have very nice Macron shirts. And this is a group where Macron actually puts a little bit of stamp on, uh, on because you, you don't often see two Macron teams in the Champions League. Um, I actually like this one from the color. There's a little bit unorthodox, but I really like the way it is done to the classic black and blue stripes. Yes, Inter, but for Club Rouge, I actually like it. And then there's some interest put in there, there as well, and that there are not straight blue stripes, but you have this vertically, um, I don't even saw shadow striping. You have some additional pattern in there. I really think this is an interesting look. Uh, maybe it would be better if the sleeves were um, striped as well. But other than that, a uh, pretty strong offering. I actually have to, have, have, have to say I like this one. Do I like it as much as a Zenit jersey? No, really not. But it is a, a really nice look and I, I think I'm gonna go for nine stars with it. I actually like the away jersey also. Maybe the one thing is that the color blue on the front, black on the back. That's maybe the one thing I don't like. But uh, I like how the diagonal uh, bands, let's call them bands, uh, kind of reflect uh, almost at the same angle as they are in the crest with the black and the blue. So you have that. It is an interesting look, but it is provides contrast. You have kind of the two gray tones, and I don't like gray all that much, but the two gray tones make this interesting. And then you have the club's colors on there to add a little bit pop. Really, really good, good jer jersey. 
good for eight stars, I, have, I would say. The odd man out is the jersey that almost qualified them, which is this orange out of nowhere. I don't want to say abomination because I like orange, but when I saw Clabrouche play in Rome in orange, I thought, what is going on here? Yes, it provided great contrast against the Lazio jerseys, uh, and I even understand it to a certain degree that they played in that one, but uh, come on, what? I don't understand it. I mean, orange and dark blue. <sighs> you know, this goes down the right. Take a template jersey, slap on a crest, maybe drain the color out of it and sell it to the fans. I do not like this one. I'm gonna give, give this three stars, although per se it's not a bad jersey, but um, this is not a Club Rouge jersey at all. And then we are already at Lazio, who have released a dedicated Champions League shirt, which is basically their 120 year jersey uh, from last season, reimagined with a little bit of gold, which in itself is a reimagining of the um, uh, 100 year jersey that they were wearing when they were still under Puma, trying to use the same template in which they became actually champions. So uh, that's interesting. And I'm not sure, I don't think they were wearing this in Champions League, but I might be wrong. Uh, with that. It is very much this Puma template. I have a Lusk jersey with a similar one with the collar that had this band in the middle uh, and then I know that the black did not meet in the middle. Here they let it pass through and I actually think it makes a stronger look. My only gripe with that is I actually like my Lazio with light blue and white like this jersey rather than the black in there which kind of gives a little bit of stark look. Uh, I understand that they released a dedicated Champions League jersey, uh, you know, extra money, especially if you don't have a sponsor on the front, but it's not the most inspiring look to me, although it's a really nice tribute and I actually like the gold accents there as well, but you know, uh, doesn't quite do it, but I still think it's a really good effort for seven stars, which I cannot say for what this uh, away jersey is. I don't know why, how they came up with text marker green. I mean, everything else is nice on this one. I mean, make this white and we're talking six, seven, but green, yes, it provides a lot of contrast, but it, well, it also provides a lot of headache because the more you look at it in play, the more your eyes hurt from it. Um, I gave it three stars in my Jersey review and I have to say, I gotta stick with that. It's I mean, there's an interesting shadow pattern in there, kind of uh, black, oh, nah, it's, nah. I cannot get over the color, if, even if everything else is all right. And then we have the third jersey, which I'm not sure was used, but uh, that's the one at least used in the league. <sighs> you know, dark blue, light, light blue, Argentina away colors. You will always please me with that. I even like, and I saw when the, um, the home church is the light blue with the white, it looks like there's some either snow or powder sugar, sugar which you don't get the effect here, but it's a really pleasing look. Maybe a little bit much uh, with the striping, so it's not a perfect 10, but it's a really nice jersey. Uh, very pleasing to look at, and for that reason, I really like to give it nine stars as I did in my Serie A jersey review. And we go to Dortmund, who of course have released dedicated European jerseys, which we have not talked in the Bundesliga jersey review. Uh, and I have to say this might be the best Dortmund jersey. I do not understand the pixel effect in there. I really don't. I don't know why, I don't know how uh, they came up with it. Uh, it does remind me a little bit of the home jersey that they had when the first Puma season, 12-13, similar to the Italy jersey. It's a very similar color very, uh, in many ways. However, if I look past the pixel pattern, this is a really nice Dortmund look. Classic, I mean, kind of like the one back there, uh, not very uh, exciting per se, but a classic look. Why they put the pixels on there, this kind of drops it down a little bit to me. It's still the best Dortmund jersey uh, this season and I want to give this eight stars because in-game it really, really looks nice. And then they have the same thing as the away jersey, which actually looks really funny here. I mean, this we are going in pyjama. Uh, ter territory here, um, a kid's pyjama at that, with the pink then also thro thrown in. I mean, it's the same jersey, but you take white and with yellow. I actually think that black would work a little bit better, uh, but then you uh, yellow and um, gray. 
I have to laugh at this one. Uh, it's either horrible or genius. I'm a little bit going into the genius uh, side of, of, of things a little bit more, but I, that's just something. You know, give me a little, a teeny bit more black. I really like the yellow color, but I think on a white jersey, you need to balance out the colors a little bit more. So uh, that's my problem with the whole thing. And so I think I'm gonna say six stars here. Well, let me know what you thought about this jersey. Am I off? Do you agree with me? I think it was all over a pretty good look looking group, I have to say, um, and also an exciting group uh, in play. In any case, drop a line below and let me know what you thought about the jerseys in this group. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the little bell icon so that you get, I get updated whenever something is happening in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.